have to say, as a young dentist, clinical governance, and in particular clinical audit, are not the most exciting topics. However, understanding what audit is all about and being able to smoothly complete an audit is an essential skill that's becoming increasingly important. Audit is a quality improvement process that seeks to improve patient care and outcomes through systematic review of care against explicit measures and the implementation of changes in practice if needed. Aspects of the structure, processes and outcomes of care are selected and systematically compared with measures of good practice. Where indicated, changes are implemented at an individual, team or service level and further measurement is carried out to confirm improvement in healthcare delivery. If the findings show that the clinical audit measures are being met, then give feedback on good practice to those involved, and this will act to maintain good work. In essence, clinical audit is highly beneficial, as it can help identify strengths and weaknesses, it can help reduce errors, encourage change, and it essentially shows that the care you provide is routinely consistent with good practice. Moreover, the GDC, CQC, and other organisations expect us to be carrying out regular audits. So, what's the process? Well, the audit cycle involves coming up with a problem or objective, then a gold standard or agreed criteria to compare against needs to be identified. You're thereafter ready to collect the data and analyse it. This is followed by identification of areas for improvement before implementing the necessary changes and re-auditing. It's often called an audit spiral rather than a cycle. The spiral suggests that as the process continues, each cycle aspires to a higher level of quality. Some questions to think about when des designing an audit include, what are we going to audit? Why are we doing an audit on this subject? Who is affected by this audit? Who are we going to audit? When are we going to audit? And finally, how are we going to audit? So the next big question is which topics can you choose? You need to think of something common. It needs to be important, so a potential risk or problem area and in addition, it's essential that it's definable, and by that I mean clearly identifiable and specific. There are some common areas you may want to audit, and these include antibiotic prescribing, record keeping, quality of dental radiographs, infection control procedures, timed exercises for basic life support, waiting times, risk assessment, for example, looking at eye protection, or success of a particular treatment or procedure. It's great if you can be original and come up with something creative as this will help you stand out when you actually come to discussing your audits. Lastly, it's important to know the difference between audit and research. Research is the attempt to derive generalizable new knowledge by addressing clearly defined questions with systematic and rigorous methods, whereas clinical audit is a quality improvement tool.